Influencers can make themselves easy targets for comedians flaunting their lavish, often out-of-reach lifestyles online. One social media sensation with a serious point to make is taking the mickey out of them. The British chemistry teacher, known as Shabazz says, says rather, attracting a huge following of his own. On today's episode of I'm Rich Your Paul, we're buying a dog collar from Gucci. From his bed, rugged up in a hoodie. My daughter's princess bedroom. Not like your daughter's povo Disney princess. Mine's a real princess. Shabazz Ali is laying into content creators. Hi there, you're Paul. Here's how not to look it. Your fridge must be bare minimum. A tongue-in-cheek takedown of those showboating on social media. These flowers cost more than your grandma's pension, your mum's rent and your dad's car combined. But I don't care. I'm rich. The videos have earned him a cult fan base. On today's episode of I'm Rich, your Paul, I spent £200 a month on a gym membership. What does this gym have? Well, nothing, it's just a gym, in it? 1.6 million followers on TikTok, 1 million on Instagram. What are we doing today? We're restocking our gourmet ice. Why? Because we're not povos. And there's a reason this realness is resonating. Only povos have cleaning products that are multicoloured. No. Let the cleaner bring her own. Only have white items labelled. The cost of living struggle is especially bad in the UK. How are you inviting these guests to the wedding? Well, not on paper. You ain't poor. Digital invite. Because you're rich. A think tank predicted 43% of households soon won't afford a decent standard of living. Nearly 4 million children experience food poverty, according to recent data. You can just about afford to put food on the table, let alone put food in this designer Gucci bowl. Because you're... A povo. And it's not just the wealthy being targeted, but the wacky too. <gasps> I beg your pardon. Oh, someone's Italian nonny's gonna be spinning in a grave. If you're not putting cheese in your hot chocolate, then what are you doing? Being normal, innit? My mama asked me to get some Roy's sister Cherie sauce. I beg your pardon. Who's sister Cherie? Roy's sister Cherie? Shabazz Ali joins us now. Shabazz, thanks so much for your time. I think we can all agree your videos are hilarious, but there's a serious side. Why did you start making them? Uh, do you know what? Honestly, it was just a bit of a, a laugh. I thought I'd just take the mic. I've always been a natural prankster, and I thought, you know what, this is something that I've always done. Um, but it started to take a bit of a serious message with, you know, the cost of living crisis and everything that's going on in the world. It just took a serious turn. Um, it still is a bit of a joke, but I just didn't want to sound like I was lecturing people. Um, I decided that more so I wanted people to just understand that what we display online is isn't so always the best. Obviously, you are a teacher, as we said. Um, you're on a school break right now, but I understand you've seen the impacts of the cost of living crisis firsthand. I have indeed, yeah. I've seen so many young people that don't have access to basic necessities like food or you know, clean clothes and things like that, even in a country like the UK. Um, and then for them to have to grow up on the internet and see people overindulge or, you know, show off about how much they have, their brand new Hermes bag, or, you know, the fact that they can buy 15 million flowers for their birthday, it's just, it's not right. Do you think the culture of influencers and social media needs to change? I do 100% think it needs to change. I think we need to move towards a shift where we've got more relatable people, more everyday people on the internet. Do you, you know, is there a bit of irony in the fact that I guess you're taking the mickey, as you said, out of influences, but you've kind of become one yourself now? Do you know what? That's very true. Um, I, do you know, I never class myself as an influencer because my, my main job is teaching. So I've always just felt um, that is always my main job and as a side to that I do a bit of video a few videos online um so I wouldn't really call myself an influencer but there is an irony that I'm making money off calling out rich people but the thing is I never said there's anything wrong with spending your money I think my issue is with those people that overindulge and show off about how much they have so what do your students think of you do they think that you're a bit of a hero um do you know what I think they think uh, they try to act too cool for it. They're like, oh, no one watches your videos, sir. And then they know everything about my videos, but they know everything, what I posted. 
my follow account. So considering they act like they have no idea what I'm doing online, um, you know, or they, they pretend that they don't follow me. They know everything about it. So I think they just tried to act too cool for it. Well, you're teaching in the classroom, but you're also teaching us around the world a very valuable lesson as well with a bit of comedy. Thanks so much for your company tonight, Shabazz Ali. <laughs> Thank you. We really appreciate you joining Australian TV. Thank you.